So people are fascinated by the Mayamoe headstock overlays, so I thought we'd show a little bit about how they're produced. Um, if we look down here, the first thing that happens is Gordon cuts up chunks, alternating chunks of wood, and we glue them together into a big board. Then that board is flipped and run through the bandsaw until we have strips like this. Then we cut we cut those pieces up like this and run them through the sander and that's what you get. Then when we place them on an instrument, we always place it uniquely and differently so that when it's cut off, uh, it always looks like a Mayamoe, but it looks uh, unique. Also, we do three different kinds of wood normally. This is, let's see, maple and lacewood, cherry and lacewood, and maple and ebony.